In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the right hand rule and the right hand rule is gonna help us figure out how much magnetic force would be applied for something that has a current or a charged particle that has a velocity when it's through moving through a magnetic field. And you could solve for any one of the three as long as you know two of the three, just like most problem solving with algebra. Okay, so a couple things you wanna to know to get started is when you're taking a look at the directions, the arrows are a little bit more obvious if they're going left, right, up or down or diagonally. Um, the two that are not quite as obvious is in and out. Okay, so in means directly into the screen or into the paper and then out is going straight out of the screen or straight out of the paper. So it's maybe a way to remind you of that, although it's not that hard to remember two symbols, is that I believe the origin of it is taking a look at an arrow, like a bow and arrow type arrow, to where the back of the arrow, these are the crosshair, so this would be like an arrow that's going into the screen, and then this one would be like the tip of the arrow coming out of the screen. So if that helps you, then great, but like I said, remembering two symbols is not that hard. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna put your hand in this configuration, so you want your thumb to be pointing straight up towards the ceiling, and then let your pointer finger come straight out where it's basically making an L shape. And then you have your middle finger come out to create a second L. So what I mean by the L is right here. Here's the first one. And then this is the second one. So you're supposed to create two 90 degree angles. Now there's a different right hand rule where you can use your thumb and your fingertips and your palm. And that one I recommend a little bit less because you can move your thumb and kind of break that 90 degree angle. So now that we have our hands set for our right hand rule, our thumb is pointing straight up towards the ceiling, our finger is pointing straight away from us, our pointer finger, then our middle finger is pointing directly to the left of us. Okay, so let me repeat that one more time. So our right thumb is pointing towards the ceiling, our pointer finger is pointing directly away from our body, and then our middle finger is pointing directly to the left. Okay, now a lot of us are right-handed, including myself, so the method is always put your pencil down and then get ready for your right-hand rule. Okay, so if you're left-handed, um, it is kind of to your advantage because you don't have to put down your pencil and remember to use that same hand. So let's go ahead and try seven different examples. The first five up top are talking about a positive charge, and then the last two are talking about an electron, a negative charge. So I'm gonna set my hand, um, as it is in the diagram and my red X's represent my current or the velocity and then my black arrows represent the B which is the magnetic field I can go ahead and label that okay and then the blue represents the force that's what we're looking at so if you take a look at all of these uh, normally, if you're doing a, a worksheet or some problems, they're normally just going to be labeled as in next to the black arrows, it would have a B and then next to like these red X's, it would say I or V next to it. So what I did is I just color coded them um, and then we can recognize them that way. So the first thing I'm going to line up and for no particular reason, I'm just going to start with it is my current or velocity. So I'm going to set my hand ready for the right hand rule. And that means my pointer finger goes straight into the screen. And I want to make sure my middle finger lines up with those black arrows. Okay, so my pointer finger is going directly into the screen. And as I turn my hand, which I don't really need to turn it, my middle finger is pointing directly to the left. And that means my thumb is pointing up on the screen. Okay, so your answer is the force applied on that positively charged particle is upwards. Okay, so let's go ahead and try our second one. Uh, I'm going to make sure I put my pencil down if it is in my hand, set my hand ready for the right hand rule. And what I'm going to do is set my pointer finger to the right, okay, because my pointer finger is the current or velocity. So I'm pointing it towards the right, which is a little bit harder to curve my hand. And then I want to make sure my middle finger is pointed out, okay, so directly straight out of the screen. So I'm gonna turn my hand so my palm is basically facing the ceiling and my pointer finger is to the right and my middle finger is facing the ceiling. 
Okay, if I do that, my thumb is facing down. So the force is directed downwards. Okay, so some of these you have to get used to because the positions are a little bit awkward. The first one is a little bit more natural. The second one is definitely a little bit tougher. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the third one. The third one, I'm pointing my pointer finger to the left. Okay, if I'm pointing my pointer finger to the left, then the second thing I wanna try to do is point my middle finger to the right. Okay, if you notice, you can't actually do that. Okay, because when I point my pointer finger directly to the left, my middle finger is pointing straight out of the screen. Okay, so I could fold my finger down, but now you're breaking the right hand rule. So um, if you can't point your fingers in the directions given in the problem, that means there is no force. So when the velocity of the charged particle or the current is perpendicular to the magnetic field, that's where it has the maximum force. And when it's parallel, there's absolutely no force. And when it's in all of the in-between positions, it has like a partial amount of the full force. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the fourth one. So I'm going to take my pointer finger in my right hand and point it up to the right, top right end of the screen. And this one, I'm going to line up my thumb with those blue arrows and I'm looking for my magnetic field. So this time I'm looking for where my middle finger is pointing and that's gonna be my answer, okay? So this, this question is slightly different. I'm not looking for force anymore. Okay, so I got my right pointer finger pointing to the top right hand corner and then my thumb pointing to the top left hand corner and my middle finger is pointing into the screen Okay, so my middle finger is pointing into the screen. So my answer is the X because the X means inward, like straight into the screen or into the paper. All right, for my next one, uh, and now I'm looking for a velocity. So my answer is wherever my pointer finger is pointing. So I'm gonna go ahead and line up my thumb to go up the page. And then I'm going to twist my hand until my middle finger points to the right. Okay, and this is actually one of the most awkward positions, if not the most awkward, where it feels like you actually can't get an answer. Okay, what's actually gonna help is if you make your right hand go farther away from your body. If you hold it close to your body, it's gonna be hard to twist your hand into the position. So I'm taking my right hand and I'm moving it farther and farther to the right of my body so that my thumb faces up and then my middle finger is pointing to the right away from me and then my pointer finger is pointing straight out of the screen. Okay, I'm, so I'm gonna put the little dot for being out. Okay, now this may help you. I don't necessarily do this, but if you want to um, take your paper and, and lift it up or set it down on the desk and stuff like that. Um, that may be something that helps you. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but I think it's helpful for some people. Okay, so going to the last two, there are two methods you can use. You can use the right hand rule with your left hand for something that is a negative charge. Okay, or you can use the right hand rule and just reverse your answer. Okay. So because I'm getting into the flow of using my right hand, I'm just gonna remind myself to reverse the answer. And you can even make yourself like a little note if you want to, and then say reverse, and I'll just say reverse direction actually. Okay, so I'm setting my hand, I'm putting my thumb pointing into the screen. And I'm gonna to try to line up my pointer finger to the right. Okay, so my thumb is pointing into the screen. And then my pointer finger is um, going to the left. And then in that case, my middle finger is gonna give me my answer and my middle finger is pointing straight 
up on the screen. So this one is a little bit of an awkward position too. Okay, so thumb pointing into the screen, pointer finger going to the left, and I'm basically twisting my hand so that my palm is facing away from me, and then my middle finger points up the screen. Okay, so remember, we wanna reverse our direction. Okay, so this isn't our answer. It's actually directly straight down. Okay, so it is a little hard to remember. So if you're, no, you're the type of person that forgets details like that, just go ahead and use your left hand instead. Okay, like I said, I was kind of in the flow of using my right hand, so I'm gonna continue to use my right hand and flip my answer. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my very last one. I'm gonna take my middle finger and point it straight out of the screen. And I'm gonna have my thumb point to the left. And then in that case, my pointer finger is actually pointing straight down towards me. So the answer that I got was pointing down, but again, I don't want that answer. I want the complete opposite of it which is going straight up. Okay, so to sum things up, um, with your right hand rule, you wanna make sure you hold your 90 degree angles, and then from there, make sure you pick the force, velocity, or magnetic field correctly. It does definitely take some practice, and there are some awkward positions, um, but it, once you get enough practice, you'll definitely start getting a lot of these correct. When you have a negative charge or an electron, then feel free to use your left hand or use your right hand and make sure you just reverse the direction of your answer. So if it's in, then you would say your answer is out. If you get up, then your answer is down and, and so on. So I hope that was helpful in helping you figure out those different problems. Thank you for watching and listening.